So this is the next step that I'll be doing. I've already saw, if you can see there. Let me zoom in. So. Going to this, going to sew this. Uh, I mean, we're going to iron this. Open up. Finished product has not uh, been uh, so yet, so we're going to do that next. that I cut a pattern that came to book uh, the book is no longer available it's, it was I'm, I'm not so sure when I bought this I think two years ago or something so the book has this pattern at the back but it has a circle and inside the circle if you can see there's a uh, you see this, uh, like uh, stitches, okay? So it's about one eighth of uh, an inch, and I cut it. I cut the circle, and this circle is the size of uh, the template itself. So I've already cut the circle itself from the template, and I cut this uh, uh, pattern. And what I did to this pattern is that I have the fuse, uh, fusible, I guess, uh, interfacing. So if you can see, this is the shiny side and this is a non-shiny side. So the shiny side is where when you press the heat will transfer to any of uh, the, you know, if you put this on top of the shiny side and you press, press it, then the heat would, uh, I mean, it will glue it together. So what I did is that I take this paper um, cut cut out that I cut out from the patterns, and I uh, put it on the shiny side so that it will glue together and become slightly stiff instead of soft. Um, it's mine. I think my my interface is kind of light in uh, what I call it the mid um, light in weight. So. I would encourage uh, a slightly thicker, so it's like medium size, it's better, so that, um, you know, you get slightly heavier, but this will do for now, put it this way, whereby I have my fabric here, I'm going to put it like that, and what I'm going to do later on, I'm going to sew, uh, according to this um, stitches here, that is shown, if you can see, So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew it at the stitches there. So, yeah. And I'm going to put a link down below uh, to on how you make this dress done um, so that you, you got a rough idea on uh, how actually to do it by a professional cooler. But anyway, this is how I do it and from what I read uh, from the books and also from watching YouTube um, yeah um, I'll be right back uh, with uh, completed um, Dresden patterns uh, yeah 
I've finished uh, sewing the um, the circle earlier. How I do it, I show it to you. And there's also other quilters, quilters that are much more professional than I am. So And so, yeah. You can actually cut out this paper later on. Okay, there you go. It looks nice and it looks circular. And let us see how it looks like on my, my dress then. Alright everyone, I'm, I will say that I'm satisfied with my work and as you can see I've already sewed my Dresden 